What is going on guys? It's Morgan. We are back in Rugby 20. Uh, this wasn't the video I was planning on making today. Um, I've just finished watching the Super League match between the Blues and the Chiefs and I was going to be doing another review video. If you guys haven't seen some of my other review videos, uh, make sure you go back and check them out. We've been following the Super League uh, matches that have been taken on the little tournament um, and just sort of review of what I thought about the game, things that happened within the game whilst playing a bit of Rugby 20 in the background. Um, so go check them out. I was going to be doing another one on that, uh, and I will be making one later on. But as I logged in today, I realised that in the top right there, you can see I am level 99, and I am very close to being level 100. And I thought, I have no idea what happens when you reach level 100 in this game. Does it max out? Do you get some sort of special rewards? And I thought some other people might find it interesting. So I thought I'd log in just do a quick video about, I'm going to play one game and put all my challenge cards on so that I can uh, get the most XP out of the game. We'll get to level 100 just to see what we, uh, what we get for turning level 100 and see if it's worth it. Let's quickly check out the challenges. What, uh, what have we got? Play in the rain. Wow, they really push the boat out with some of these challenges in Rugby 20. They really, so these games are just not the most challenging in terms of what they what they offer you. Um, you get three lots of challenge cards. I mean, is that a good reward? The SP 8000 is not bad for completing three fairly easy challenges. I'd like to see them arrange some of those challenges that they were a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's see what it's reset me to today. That's fine. Well, we'll play it rain. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm going to check it on a five minute game. We don't need to do too much. I'm already 81% of the way. Um, and we'll just go into the solo, and uh, this is the Wales team that I've been playing with that I've made. Uh, we'll put all the challenges on, we're against Munster, and uh, let's put all the challenges on for getting the most XP out of the game. Right guys, I picked some challenge cards, we've got score three tries, score two tries, and win by 20 points. We're against Munster, a massively higher rated team than us, with a percentage chance of us winning massively against us, but uh, this game isn't the most difficult, so I think we should... Uh, Definitely be able to win. Let's get into this game. Right, here we are, guys. Let's get this started. Oh, we've got the joyous thing in this game where, for some reason, you can play teams in almost identical kits and you don't get the choice of whether to choose the home or away kits. I really hope they change that in a in a future patch. Um, it does get quite annoying. Obviously, I've got this, you know, created fantasy Wales team here. Uh, playing Munster, we're both going to be in red. This is going to be... Uh, Awkward just to work out. I apologise already for the <laughs> if people are going to struggle to work out who is who is who on the field because uh, I know I'm going to struggle to try and work out who is who. Uh, no, like I was saying, guys, I was uh, planning on doing a video um, about the uh, the Super Rugby games that have been going on. I've been really enjoying watching a lot of the Super League. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Super Rugby in the past. Um, I've always been more focused on the Pro 14s and things like that. But the actual Rugby that's happening in the Super Rugby is is very impressive to watch it's to a very very high standard. Um, I definitely recommend if you can watch it, definitely watch it. I mean, everyone's still in lockdown. It's probably one of the few sports that's still on, especially here in the UK. Um, <laughs> there is there is no rugby. There's some talk about Pro 14 starting up again soon, but with some some new rules that I think could be you know quite boring things like you know you know not resetting scrums, some rules about rucks, you know. Don't be near each other in the, the locker rooms and stuff. There's going to be a lot of different changes they're going to be doing just to try and help combat it a bit. But in New Zealand, they seem to be doing very well. Uh, the actual skill in the games has been superb. Um, it is like watching two lots of New Zealand play each other. I've been very, very impressed. Um, so I'm looking forward to when the Pro 14 comes back and getting to watch a few more of those games. Or the ability to even watch the games through them. So I sort of let that go. And I haven't followed a lot of Pro 14 since. Let's see if we get another try here. There's two of the three we needed. We're 33 minutes in. <laughs> smashing through this game. Let's see if we can get a damn bigger conversion. If anyone's followed my uh, 2011 playthrough, you'll know conversions were not my uh, strong suit in that. But the conversions in this game are definitely a little bit easier. Uh, unless I'm doing some of the review videos where I have to check notes <laughs> midway through playing. Luckily, I don't have to do that today. Let's see if we can push forward again. Um, the, the difficulty level in this game, we are playing on pro still. Um, it, is, it isn't difficult to win in this game. I really hope they do some sort of patch in the future where they get to make a bit more difficult angle to the game. Let's see if we can get this up to Corey Allen here. Oh, not enough there. Uh, right, it's half time. Let's just get it off the field here. We'll go into the second half. We only need one more try to, uh, to hit some of our challenges. How are our team doing? Oh, we've actually got a couple of... Uh, people down here. Right, let's, uh, let's do some quick subs. 
Okay, we'll go for four subs for now, and we'll uh, we might put the uh, the winger in the centre on later on. Yes, we've already got you guys in the top right there. So we've already got the the challenge for the week section one down. We've got the two tries. We need one more try, one more conversion. That'll uh, that'll see us through to um, getting all the all the challenges, which should hopefully give us enough XP in this game. Let's see if we go for an interception along here. They're going to go wide. No, that there we go, perfect. Justin Tipperick, good move, right, let's try and get wide here, right. we've got some moves, come on, and out one more, Josh Adams, Adams he's got some speed, kick it through, oh, great pick up Tompkins, to let's keep working our way through, let's spread this, this nice and wide, like there's a little hole in the middle, we'll try and go through here with Liam Williams, Williams shrugs off the attempt there we go, still Look pushing forwards, let's get in out, let's get it to Corey Allen, forward. who has got some great he's speed, around the outside, Boom, there we go. That's the three tries done. We need to get the conversion to get that final challenge done. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, oh, we actually got a bit of an angle here. I thought we were a little bit closer in. Let's see if we can uh, try and kick this through. Down bigger. Oh, well, it was on target. Not enough power. Elliot D making some good. <laughs> some good. Moving up the wing. Josh Adams, little kick through. He should be able to catch that. Yep, right, good. Everyone in. Oh, let's try and spread wide quickly. Oh, Nick Tompkins. Oh, not quite. Should we make it up? Let's mix it up a bit. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's go for a drop goal. Damn bigger drop goal time. Whoosh. There we go. Takes us to 22 points. We've got that final challenge, Jim. We've just got to not concede anything. We'll swap some players out. So borderline got a stronger team now with the subs on. Hadley Parks. Oh, it's a great run through. Hadley Parks, of course, now off to uh, off to Japan. So, uh, at club level anyway. Um, so, we might not be seeing uh, Hadley Parks, which would be an awful shame for the Wales team uh, too much in the future. It'll be interesting to see um, next six nations where the, he'll still be in. Um, but... You know, we sort of wish Hadley Park some good luck over in Japan. Um, I think he's, uh, I think he's got the, up there in years. I think he was, I think I read somewhere that he was 30 or 32. Um, so it's probably a good career move for him, to be fair, to, to, to move over to Japan. There's probably a bit more money over there. Uh, there it is, guys. That'll be the final whistle. We'll see if we can get Falatau down the wing here. No, no. Nope. Uh, we might go for one more score. Oh, they're going to run offside. That's fine for us. We can help this. Uh, we might as well help move up the field a little bit. Did that go dead? <laughs> no, okay. That's a, that must have gone into touch with about one centimetre left. Right, let's go for it. Round the back, no one ready. Oh, he just right took now. it away from us. I thought we were going to do a clever, uh, clever line out there. That's fine. They've got an awful long way to go in oh, order to uh, score back here. And there we go. There's a touchdown. Should we do again another try, guys? But that's the uh, that's the game over. So we should now be ranking up, hopefully, to level 100. Oh my God, did we actually not? <laughs> right. So we didn't actually get to level 100. We got to 99%. Uh, so. I was for, I got 11,000 XP in that game, and I only went up by 1%. That's kind of mad. Um, I don't know if that means maybe we've hit max level. Maybe you can't get higher than that. Um, I'll play one more game uh, just to see if it actually goes up or whether whether your level actually maxes out to level 99 and you only get to 99%. Um, let's jump in another game, and we'll see what happens. Right, guys, here we are. Uh, game 2 uh, <laughs> of this Ridiculous video that uh, I, I, I've had a look back. Um, I was actually on 80, 87%, I think it was 84%. So I've gone up by about 15% in that last game or something. So amazingly, we ended on 99% to level 99. Um, we'll do this one more game just to see whether we um, whether you can actually get to level 100. I don't actually know whether it's possible now. Uh, maybe it just stops there, but we'll find out. Let's get down the wing here. Corey Allen against his own team, against the Ospreys. Um... <laughs> Let's see how we get on. Manages to keep the ball alive despite the tackle. The ball's moved on. Jones send it on to Adams. Little side set from Adams breaking through. Let's see if we can chunk in a little bit. Oh, oh, nearly, nearly there. One more pick and drive. Hadley Parks out to Tompkins. There we go. First try. Nice and easy. And the kick You're should right. be fairly we'll easy from there. there. Shouldn't miss those, although I have said that in uh, 2011 and have missed. 
<laughs> Terrible kicks. 7-0. Uh, Would love to see a, a bit of a difficulty increase in this game. Or maybe even just a just another level. Maybe the actual designers think the, the game is um, hard enough for players. I don't know if they've ever done any game testing of who they, if they think the game is hard enough. Maybe they could add um, another difficulty level. Maybe something above pro could be useful. So you've got the amateur, the medium, or the, um, or the pro. Maybe you add, you know an all-star difficulty or something so they just add another difficulty layer so they don't have to change the the level of ai difficulty in pro they can just add a whole new level to to make them more difficult i think that could be interesting uh that was tried to is that all our challenges there oh yeah well there we go we're uh, 25 minutes in all the challenges done <laughs> um you guys probably didn't see i think i, I probably will have cut it out um the, the the second challenge oh, we've got an advantage there. Uh, the second challenge for the uh, the weekly challenges was to play in the night. So first one was play in the rain. <laughs> second one was play in the night. Uh, they really get uh, original with these uh, challenges. Oh, it's Corey Allen again. He's having a good game so far. Sprint through the middle. Oh, it's a good hunt down. Who got us there? Is that Scott Williams who chased us down? Oh, it's a good inside ball. Like See if we can get out wide here. Pass. Josh Adams, Hadley Parks. There we go. And that'll be try number three. <laughs> that was a good little throw to uh, Hadley Parks there. Right, that's half time. We're not going to be messing about trying to uh, get other scores. We'll kick that out. Go to half time. And that's the end of the first half. Right, second half. Let's kick this off. We're pretty much just running down the clock now. We haven't got a lot else to uh, to achieve in this game. We just need this game to uh, to finish. Should we go for another drop goal if we can turn this over? Maybe. Oh, no, they're going to go for a box kick. Oh, that's a good box kick, actually. The AI normally are quite poor with the box kicks. Oh, Liam Williams couldn't make his way through. Let's see if we can go. Oh, someone offside there for Ospreys. We'll slide it through. Good run. Dan Bigger inside and again. We want this to go out to Corey Allen. Good handoff. Oh, not quite. The attacking team keeps the ball. Damn bigger. Support, not quite. Still control the ball and can go wide. Let's go for it. Sends the ball Cheeky crossfield. Oh, oh great pickup from Tipperick. Here we go. Oh, this has got to be a try here. Oh, oh and Josh Adams <laughs> doesn't catch it. We got the glitch where uh, the players just don't catch the ball. Let's see what they do. Lineouts in this game. You probably will win every single lineout, no matter the difficulty. It's still a shame they haven't improved. That's again. That's what I mean. This all cycle difficulty maybe could be a could be a nice little advantage to this game just to have certain things like set plays and stuff be a little bit more difficult. I think scrums are really the only thing I ever lose in this game anymore. Um, and very rarely your own. Uh, you normally lose their scrums. So that's because the scrums are designed. Basically, for whoever puts the ball in, you basically There's win a scrum. <laughs> no matter what, really, in this game. Uh, well, I mean, he was about f five feet offside, wasn't he? That's outrageous. <laughs> he, was, he was more in my line than some of my guys. Right, let's run this back up. Oh, great run. Straight through the middle. Little offload. And again, this needs to go out to Adams. Some rapid defence there from the Ospreys. Let's spread this wide again. Oh, oh. He's playing the advantage, that's fine. There should be another try coming here. Corey Allen, try number four. Really right, let's put some subs on quickly before we take the kick. Well, I mean, that's a whole uh, whole, <laughs> whole forward pack being changed there, but there we go. Um, I don't know why the stamina goes down quite so rapidly in this game. I mean, it's, it's been 68 minutes. I mean, that's probably fine. I've noticed some of their players were sort of down into yellow within the first half. And I don't know how many times you really see in professional level rugby that people go off because they're feeling fatigued within the first half on its own it seems a little uh, a little unusual we'll uh, keep pushing forward here we've got some strong players on now from the bench oh win jones is uh, not quite the man i wanted on this wing uh, uh, oh they've also got a yellow card um for the tackle on dan bigger in the last one and um, they played the advantage but the uh, We'll take a yellow card. I mean, this should be even easier <laughs> to get tries. Uh, I don't actually know who got yellow carded in this. Um, Corey Allen, can he squeeze through? Yes, he can. That yellow card's about to end. Let's watch their play just run back onto the field. <laughs> Mid-game, no, uh, no worry. Uh, no, no need for the ball to go dead or anything. Oh, there's the final whistle. Oh, there he is. Keelan Giles running back onto the field. <laughs> there we go. 
Fifth try from Josh Adams. Let's have the final kick and uh, let's actually get over that level 100 level. Or let's see whether you always remain at level 99. Good kick from Dan Bigger. All right, let's have a look what happens when we're uh, now that game's over. Oh, we have. We have now got up to level 100. That's interesting. Um, so 35 nil. Yeah, we, we're now at level 100. Let's see if we get any rewards or anything. Uh, that was that challenge completed. Yep. In the final, we did that. There we go. Another 10,000 XP. Level up. Level 99 to level 100. So you can go higher than level 100 in this game, apparently. Uh, we're now 15% of the way to level 101. I don't know if there is a max level. Um, do we get anything for reaching level 100? Uh, we got some superior challenges. Um, oh, is that it? <laughs> wow. Right, so you uh, don't get anything really for hitting level 100. We got the uh, we got that superior players pack. I mean, considering how much time you have to put into this game to really get to level 100, I don't really feel that's a fair reward. Let's uh, let's open the superior challenges. I mean, oh yeah, superior challenges. Not even players. Yes, yeah, ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? How much is a superior challenges pack? Five thousand. So you get the equivalency of. 5,000 SP. So basically you get an award that's about the same price as winning one game in this game. Um, and in my opinion, that's not really worth it. Um, I mean, you, you know, you get to level 100 either way just by playing through the game. Um, it's sort of a passive thing you win, but if, if you were you know, if you're in the high levels and you're just determined to get to that level 100, in my opinion, not super worth it. Um, I think they should definitely add in something for every 10 or 25 or 50. Definitely for every 100 levels you go in this game. I think you should get something, you know, you know, maybe even 5 or 10 lots of the epic player packs or something so you could actually get some better, some better players in your team. Uh, let me guys know what you think. Uh, let me know if you guys are a level, higher level than me or if you're still on the way to level 100. If any of you have even got to level 20 before people have just abandoned this game, uh, which seems to have happened in terms of the multiplayer. Uh, let me know if you think this, that reward is worth it, or what could be a better reward to be implemented into the game for leveling up. Uh, make sure you drop this video a like, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, I will be doing some more review videos about rugby and playing a bit more Rugby 20, along with some other games, so make sure you're subscribed so that you can keep up to date with all the new videos coming out. But that's it from me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.